as you think about competitor entry, if you have marketed products, there might be huge implications because the competitor may have better product profile, much better efficacy, safety profile. That may have huge implications to your product and revenue implications. If you are developing pipeline asset, the assessment of competitor landscape is really critical. Why? You may be leaving behind. There may be like five competitor companies, like 10 companies, different assets, different mechanisms of actions, unique features. They may disrupt the landscape. And you have to really understand what's going on, right? Then, as a way of assessing that, we may be able to change our clinical development strategies, which is really critical. Because in five years, in seven years, when we can launch a product, the landscape may have completely changed. Standard care may have shifted, and we have to really adapt really ahead of time. There may be commercial viability piece here, because if you think about pipeline development, and again, if like five, ten competitors, market is getting really crowded, you may have to make a statistic decision to really terminate or discontinue your program really ahead of time. There's lots of implications to market access to investment dynamics as well. So overall, there are so many implications, huge impact on development and also commercial and portfolio strategies. That's the reason why assessment and evaluation of key competitor trials, market entry timing are really critical, especially in something like oncology and other therapeutic areas. There is a rapid pace of scientific innovation dynamic competitive environment really existing. So that's really critical. So how Takeda has been leveraging cognitive platform? So this platform really enables a transformation to a digital platform. It's really holistic and real-time view of key competitor market events. There's a clean and simple means for visualizing complex landscape, which is very important from an oncology perspective and also other therapeutic areas. This is fully customizable. Uh, it's based upon business needs, key objectives with semi-automation process. That is very important from a CI expert perspective. And because of these features, versatile interface really enables more strategic and focused discussions live with whoever your key stakeholders are. Then, in-depth insight can be obtained really easily and quickly from cognitive platform. So this is really holistic, real-time view of key computer trials and also provides actionable insights. This may seem to be familiar to you, but this is, of course, the platform using cognitive. And as you can see from the left, you can see typical trial ID, information about trials, then you see the molecular name, the like mechanism of action, company name. You can customize based upon whatever you want. You can add what is the experimental arm, what is the control arm. You can add what is the histology, biomarker, or a regulatory designation, a like breakthrough therapy designation, or a priority review, fast track designation, whatever you want. So you can customize and you can easily filter based upon your, your need. What you see on the right hand side, you see some typical flags here, which represents the potential regulatory approval timing of key regions. We just focused on a few, a few important markets here. However, if you are working on emerging markets, you can select whatever countries you like. If your customer is a market, market access for colleagues, you may want to really assess the actual timing of market entry as opposed to regulatory approval. You can do that. But I told you, uh, this platform really enables more strategic and focused discussions with key stakeholders. And why? If you have long list of key competitor trials, which should be basis for the approval in PowerPoint format, it's difficult for you to discuss with, with your stakeholders about who are the key competitors and why? If there's a particular company with multiple assets, 
different mechanism actions, different modalities, we will just focus on particular company X. By filtering really easily and quickly, we can just focus on such company, then we can dig into why this company is a huge threat to us. Similarly, for example, if you are developing sales therapy, but you are analyzing whole competitor landscape, you may want to focus on only sales therapy as a direct competitor. Or you may want to check about what's the threat from off the shelf, like TCL engagements. This is possible by easy filtering. And finally, if your customer is specific regions, health, and senior management, US, Japan, we can easily do that. So what's shown on this slide is a view and approval timing for key entry by year, and which gives you a really good snapshot of how competitive in the next five to seven years. I talked about in-depth insight can be obtained from cognitive platform really easily. So what you see on the left hand side, uh, left hand side is the trial design schema. So by just clicking once, this platform automatically can produce this trial schema really quickly. So what you can see here on the left hand side, far left, you see some basic information about the specific trial, like when trial started and closed, enrollment, and primary endpoint sponsor, things like that. In the box, you see key inclusion criteria or exclusion criteria of patient population. Then, experimental arm information and control arm. So this is really unique to this platform in my experience because CIB may have to make this slide from scratch. We may have to deal with different data resources. But by leveraging cognitive platform, it's just one click. What you see on the lower left is the key publications, data disclosures, which cognitive can capture specific to this trial. So if there is a press release from a company about this trial, this platform actually captures and direct us to direct original source. So you, we can quickly check what is the efficacy data, safety data, what company issued in a press release, easily and quickly. On the right hand side, you see the changes to the trial, like PCD, like um, experimental arm, or trial selection sites in sector, we can easily get that uh, through alerts as well as platform itself. Again, by leveraging cognitive platform, really in-depth insight specific to some key trials can be easily navigated. 